everyone, welcome back. Patrick here. Today we're going to be taking a look at the mesh Lambert material versus the mesh Fong material. Um, so in order to use these materials, we're going to need to add a light to our scene. So why don't we go ahead and add a point light. A point light essentially is going to be a light bulb if you think about it. It's going to go in all directions without a lampshade. Um, so why don't we add that right now. So we're going to do variable light equals new three three is our constructor is the whole object um, point light and that's gonna take in a couple um, different values okay so first value being the color of it so we'll do 0 X and then they give you the hex value we'll make this one red so R is the first value so FF 0 0 red R red green blue 0 0 Zero, 0 okay so we made the light red now we're gonna go and add let me close that that's kind of annoying um, let me go ahead and add the let's see the first one is going to be the intensity we'll make it a five okay and then the um, the decay of it so we'll set that to 8.5 I guess all right so next we'll set the position so light dot position okay so that's our first uh, property set okay and then that's gonna take the vector 3 XYZ okay so let's do we'll do um, do I don't know uh, four uh, four six alright I think that works and then we'll just do our scene and then we'll call the add function and we'll do add light. All right, so so that sets that up. Now we have a basic mesh material on here. We saw this before. It's just a cube spinning around. So why don't I go ahead and demo that real quick? I have set the material to gray on this, which is d d d d d d d. Um, so we will do a port seven seven seven. Hit enter on that. Go ahead, open up Firefox. Go to our local host, and then we'll just do seven seven seven. All right, so you see that basic thing. Now, if we go ahead and inspect uh, the console real quick right here, and we'll go over to our console, and then we will do um, scene. All right, so um, in the console, I just did console.log scene, essentially, so you can write all your information in here. That's going to return everything to you. Go ahead and expand this, and we can take a look at the entire scene it's a little easier to do in Firefox I'm not or um, in Chrome I don't usually do it this way uh, we should have an array of two which is going to have two objects which is the first object um, child and the name of that is going to be our point light right there so it's in the scene um, the second object we're going to look at will be our mesh object, which is our cube. So we have two objects in the scene. Uh, this is a great way to troubleshoot things. Going to the console.log, you can see everything's in there. I have switched over to uh, R, uh, R72. Some things have changed in there, hence why I'm redoing a lot of these tutorials. Okay, so let's switch over to the mesh Lambert material. Lambert. Okay, gray material is perfectly fine for that. Let's take a look now when we hit refresh on this. Bang. There is our new scene. So what is the Lambert material doing? The Lambert material is actually taking the vertices and using that to calculate the, um, calculate the fall off. Um, and the, the way that light is distributed across the face, uh, the face. Okay. So what that means is that you can get some bizarre text, uh, tessellation when you are calculating these things. In here, it's just giving you a smooth, a, a smooth flat surface. However, if we d were, if we wanted some level of specularity, this would not be able to be achieved through the Lambert material. We would have to switch over to the Fong material. Now, when we switch over to the Fong, you will see a slight difference between the two because what you are going to get is specular highlights. Specular highlights being, um, the, the, the way that the light hits it, okay, is going to give you kind of a glossy surface. Okay. So let's just go ahead, switch this over to Fong, hit refresh on that. Come back over, hit refresh, 
and you will see we are getting some, why don't we increase the intensity on this, maybe you'll be able to see the falling highlights. You can kind of see it right here, but maybe it was a little bit. Actually, you know what's the better way to do it? Why don't we switch this, instead of looking at a box geometry, we will switch this to a sphere geometry. And I'm going to keep the size the same, and we're going to go with the default number of um, of the way it's subdivided, essentially. So the two values is the, the, the X and the Y on the subdivisions on the sphere geometry. So we'll look at this one real quick. And you can see you're getting some a little, little, bit, little bit of highlighting. Now, if we divided this a million times, or not a million, but maybe like 20 times on on the X and then 20 times along the Y. Come back over here and refresh. You're going to see the highlight a little better. All right, so there's our specular highlight right there. Now let's see if we switch it over to the Lambert material. Let's see that specular highlight go away. And again with the refresh. And you'll see that specular highlight goes away. And then, oops, oh, let's try and fix that. Um, so you'll see that goes away. Now with the Lambert material, again, that, that kind of tessellation that I mentioned is occurring. You'll see it's not that smooth. We have to increase the amount of subdivisions in order to start smoothing it out. Uh, so. All right, so now you'll see it's flat and smooth. However, if we go down, back down, go back down to 20 and switch this over to the fall. And you should see, it should be, since it's occurring across the faces, be slightly more um, smooth. And you'll see that that's smooth, even though we decrease the amount of subdivisions. You are getting it along the edges. However, overall, it's slightly more smooth with less subdivisions. It could be a little trick that you could use if you want to decrease specularity. However, that is the um, mesh, the Lam mesh Lambert material and the mesh Fong material. If you have any questions in regards to any of this stuff, feel free to post them in the comments below. Uh, anyways, thanks again for subscribing, or if you haven't subscribed, don't forget to, and I will see you in the next tutorial.